Good Saturday evening. I'm certified meteorologist Nick Kelly checking in. We have definitely started fall out on a warm note. Highs in the upper 80s yesterday. We went back into warm territory again. You can even argue hot with highs near 90 today. Mother Nature will get the hint. And as we go into next week, she will bring the fall-like air into our area with some thunderstorm chances to go along with it. As far as where we sat the earlier this evening, the view from 7th and Ranch Line not looking too bad. The official numbers from the airport had us officially starting at 69 this morning and an afternoon high during the 4 o'clock hour of 90 degrees. Both numbers still above what's considered average. The average low being 56 and the average high of 79. Again, we'll be warm again tomorrow. Eventually, though, we will see temperatures cool down throughout the week ahead of us. Looking at temperatures across the rest of the area this afternoon, afternoon highs for most spots pretty much near 90, if not the lower 90s, especially in northeast Oklahoma and for most of southeast Kansas. The closer you got to Table Rock Lake and Springfield, a few spots did manage to only get into the upper 80s, but it was warm no matter where you were across the area today. And even with the southeast breeze still hanging in there, it's still mild before we hit the 10 o'clock hour. Temperatures checking in mainly in the lower to middle 70s. To the Skywatch Storm Tracker, latest scan from 947, right about at that moment there, had us completely bone dry. And we've been bone dry for most of the day, really. Even with passing clouds here or there, just not enough oomph, moisture or lift, rather, to uh, get any rain or thunderstorms going. So we are definitely on the warm side of things, definitely in the warm sector ahead of our cold front that's been to our north and west for quite some time now. Thankfully, this front will be on the move. So if you're starving for rain or thirsting for rain, rather, this front, as it sweeps in, will up our rain chances going into early next week. And once we get on the backside of this system, that is where the cool down will begin. For the overnight, though, we remain pretty quiet all across the area. Let's say mostly clear throughout the overnight and mostly sunny by the time we hit sunrise. Even with the southeast breeze, it's going to be a mild start again to the morning ahead of us with overnight lows in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. Fast forward to noon, we start the afternoon out on the quiet note, maybe a little more cloud cover as well. And with partly sunny skies tomorrow and a little more moisture to work with, we could see a thunderstorm or two pop up. They're going to be few and far between, though, so most spots will be dry, but no matter if you see any rain tomorrow or remain dry, everybody will be warm again. 69 in the morning, 83 by noon, and then afternoon highs with the south breeze at 5 to 15. We'll have highs topping out right around 88 degrees. Any thunderstorms that we do manage to see pop up tomorrow afternoon fizzles away with the setting sun. We'll start Monday morning quiet. But Monday morning, that is when the front continues to work into the state of Kansas. It'll be zeroing in on the 135 corridor as we go into Monday morning. As a result of this front edging closer, you can see how that ups the rain chances and the cloud cover. So we will definitely be partly sunny with some scattered storms around going into Monday. Tuesday, that's going to be our best shot with this system in terms of getting any widespread scattered thunderstorms. At the very least, this does not look like a severe setup, so for the time being, we're not expecting any storm chances with this front to get too rambunctious around here. And we'll see if we can get a few showers to hold on as we go into Wednesday morning, but Wednesday's going to be a day where we will see things start to clear on out. But look at Thursday morning. Once the north breeze really grabs on to some of the cooler air from the north, look at the morning lows, Thursday morning, upper 50s to near 60, and with partly sunny skies and a northeast breeze tomorrow, don't expect much of a warm-up. On the flip side, that will actually feel like fall, especially Thursday afternoon, with highs planning on topping out right around 72 degrees. So you can see as we're rolling the seven-day forecast, before we get that blast of fall air to work in, we stay warm for the next few days, especially 88 tomorrow, again, partly sunny with maybe a few spot storms in the afternoon, 68 Monday morning, and then we'll bounce back up to 85 degrees with a slightly better chance for some thunderstorms around the area. Best chance of storms waits for us on Tuesday. We stay mild, if not a bit warm, going into Wednesday. Then that cooler air works in. We have 73 on Thursday, 72 on Friday, and morning lows could drop from these to the upper 40s and near 50 by Saturday, and then highs only bouncing back up to 68. So again, 
Mother Nature kind of late to the game, but we will start to feel like fall, especially by next weekend. Have a good night. Have a great Sunday.